all, I'm Ante Radosh. I work at AGE 04 company and lately we, we, uh, we started playing with uh, Bluetooth low energy devices uh, that's currently being rebranded as Bluetooth smart devices. So today I'll be talking about that. Uh, first of all, what is Bluetooth Smart? Uh, Bluetooth Smart is specification that's optimized for uh, small devices and it spends, uh, it, it's optimized for low power consumption, low bandwidth. Uh, uh, it was invented by Nokia in 2006, adopted uh, as a part of Bluetooth core specification in 2010. With every uh, specification release, it uh, brings some new stuff. So for instance, Bluetooth core specification 4.2 uh, brought Internet of Things features. It enabled Bluetooth devices to use IPv6 addresses to communicate uh, with Internet. It was optimized, so like I said, it was optimized for everything low, low power consumption, low cost, low complexity, low bandwidth. Basically, this means uh, devices like this one you have can last for years with small coin battery. Uh, there are two types of Bluetooth Smart devices. There are Bluetooth Smart Ready and Bluetooth Smart. The difference is Bluetooth Smart Ready devices are dual mode, which means they can broadcast and receive Bluetooth low energy signal while Bluetooth smart devices can only broadcast signal. This one is Bluetooth smart. Uh, so Bluetooth smart features are easy integration. For instance, we all remember uh, Bluetooth Classic when, where you had to pair your phones using Bluetooth. Uh, with Bluetooth low energy, there is no pairing. Uh, Bluetooth smart devices just broadcast messages. Uh, like I said, low power consumption, so basically these things can broadcast for years. Uh, connection range, you have an option uh, with Bluetooth Classic, you had ability to bro uh, send Bluetooth signal up to 100 meters. With Bluetooth low energy device, you can uh, send to even 300 meters, especially with new specification uh, Bluetooth 5, which op offers for you to uh, for instance, if you send smaller packages with smaller uh, speed, you can broadcast to even larger uh, distances. And with Bluetooth Mesh, you have ability to cover large areas. Some of technical features are data transfer. For instance, uh, Bluetooth low energy devices usually broadcast 8 to 27 octets at 1 megabit per second speed. Bluetooth 5 specification brought some changes to that so you can broadcast larger data but at smaller ranges and at smaller speed or larger speed at smaller ranges and lower data. Uh, latency, so basically you can broadcast, connect and transfer a message in less than uh, around 3 milliseconds. It's more or less there. And there's one thing that's common to all Bluetooth uh, specifications, and that's frequency hopping. So Bluetooth implements adaptive frequency hopping, which means that Bluetooth devices detect crowded area in 2.4 gigahertz band and avoid those areas. Okay, let's see some uh, usages. Well, when we first began uh, investigating Bluetooth low energy, uh, this is the first thing we saw uh, for usage. It was medical uh, implementation. Uh, the picture on right is an example of that. It's a small, for instance, small heartbeat monitor that can uh, monitor your heartbeats and when they go build, uh, after some range, it broadcasts message to your device telling you that you have a heart problem, for instance or smart, uh, fitness bands that broadcast your data, heartbeats, uh, uh, and other stuff. 
Uh, inventory management was another use case we found. It's pretty cool actually. For instance, when you have large, uh, large inventory areas and you have problem uh, tracking your <coughs> equipment. Uh, you can place these Bluetooth small devices, for instance, like we are tracking you today. And you can always tell this equipment is at that place. Uh, that reduces your inventory time also because you can uh, make, uh, I'll show later an example, you can make uh, logic areas and say this thing has always has to go to this area. You can also monitor your assets. For instance, if you have a very limited amount of special equipment and you want to see where that is, this is the good uh, thing to do. Okay, this is something I'm very proud of. It was our first indoor navigation test, actually fifth test that was correct, but uh, this, this is our testing ground and we implemented indoor navigation there. So this little dot over there is male bathroom. It was the smallest uh, room there and we successfully navigated our user to bathroom. Not so interesting, but good. Okay, then we have notifying people. For instance, uh, you can place beacons like this one uh, around stores, shops, large malls that can broadcast message to users when it's near. Say, uh, for instance, you can broadcast that you have some discounts available for them or something to draw them in. Now it's a case that I don't like, uh, monitoring people. There are good cases and bad cases here. For Uh, that, 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 that share information uh, with 
from each other, and we get two great publishers. And I hope I love my one of the winners. Uh, I'm told what, yeah, so this is the test, what that signals to every rotary part that in this new set. Uh, for instance, I think we can see North Korea also has this signal and in
I get pleasure too when I play uh, at some angle I get bored too because it's it's like that I uh, develop at this parallel field. So basically how I play that's the signal I get the signal I get is worse or better. Uh, when we apply the theory using Stella Joseph that Stella works in so I think we are getting this signal. Thank you. 
Thank you.